Want to know a surprisingly effective item you can use for a great home workout? A skateboard. This is a mini skateboard that I bought, I think, from JDB Sports. It was like five or six quid. So it's a cheap item to add to your workout inventory. Or it would work with a full-size skateboard if you happen to have one of those already or you just have the space um, and the cash. Um, but it's actually an amazing item you can use for a pec workout. Also good for the core, for the legs. There's all sorts of fun things you can do with it. So if you're looking for a unique and different workout for your next session, something a bit uh, unusual, then uh, watch on. I'll show you some cool moves you can use uh, to mix things up a little bit. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be uh, squatting or kneeling for most of this video. That's fine. Obviously, uh, none of these movements have official names, what with this not being a particularly uh, official way to work out. It's not something you're going to find in most training programs that you'll get written by a personal trainer. I have seen one other guy on YouTube doing something similar, uh, but with a few differences. But I just uh, share some of my ideas with you guys. The first one is one that I actually saw this uh, other guy doing on YouTube. And it's a little similar to a uh, rocking press up. What it does is it turns the press up into a unilateral movement. So it's targeting one pec more on each, each go. So you put one hand on the floor like so, one hand on the skateboard, then just extend that directly out in front of you on that side, whilst bringing yourself down with the arm that's on the ground. Now this obviously means you're taking more weight for your pec on the left side, like a rocking press up. But at the same time, you're also training the top of the pec and actually all through the length of it there, as well as the shoulder by extending the arm and taking some of the weight on that. Obviously, you can control how much of the weight you want to put on which side, you can go like that, or you can bring most of your weight on there. But uh, you can also feel the core working very well, stabilising yourself. Obviously, you've got to make sure you do it on both sides. And yeah, the rocking press-up I was mentioning, just in case you haven't seen it, is that one, which is another one of my favourite pec exercises. Another one I'm going to show you, I actually used to do this on a um, on the bottom of a small table, if you saw any of my old videos. You're going to put it this time facing uh, perpendicular to yourself. Put your toes rather than your hands on the skateboard. Put your arms wide apart, and again, it's like a rocking press up, except this time you're going left and right. And this is kind of the same as the rocking press up I just showed you, except with a bit more motion so you're training your pec from more angles, and at the same time, you're further emphasizing the one pec that's working. Plus, once again, the uh, abs and the bleaks are getting nicely involved there. Another one of my favourite pec exercises is something I think is just called the uh, lizard crawl. And that's where you crawl along the ground, like a lizard, um, and that kind of keeps your pecs under constant tension and you use your legs in a similar way. Unfortunately, if you're just trying to work out your pecs, then having to move your legs like that as well, just arranging the skateboard back here, uh, can be a little bit fiddly and stand in the way. So a great alternative is to use the skateboard, put it pointing forwards, put your toes on it, and you can walk around <laughs> to your heart's content, trying to keep your body low and keeping your pecs under tension there, and a variation on that to make it a more explosive and plyometric exercise, meaning it's targeting the fast twitch muscle fibre, giving you more explosive strength, is to put your feet on the skateboard, and again you're going to move yourself forwards, but this time with little jumps, like so. And you can really feel that. We're on the uh, Second floor, so I won't do that too much, although people downstairs might get a little bit annoyed 
if you've got a long stretch of uh, patio, you can do it all the way down that. If you don't, you can do it down the street and you will look strange and people will stare at you, but it's still a cool workout. The better known exercise is the ab roller, which you might be familiar with, where you take your normally extra piece of equipment called an ab roller, kneel, put your hands on it, and extend your body out straight like so. And you can really feel that, creating those tears right across um, your abdominals. It's a great way of targeting the bottom of the abs, which people often forget. It's one of exercise, but if you've got a skateboard, then uh, the good news is there's no need to buy any extra piece of equipment. I mentioned as well that you could use this for training your legs. And a great way to do that is by doing lunges. You put one leg on the skateboard, lunge forwards like so, and bring yourself back. This is better than um, a regular lunge because in a regular lunge, your legs are only under tension when you actually step down into the lunge. With this, you're controlling your legs and your weight distribution all the way down, all the way down, and all the way back up again. Meaning that your muscles get more time under tension, which basically means they're working out for longer, which means more micro tears, which means more growth. Another way to isolate one pec more with the uh, skateboard is just simply to put one hand on it and press down like that. Again, remembering to do both sides. Those of you who've watched some of my previous training videos might recognise this. Uh, for those of you who didn't watch them, pretty self-explanatory, it's a rope. Uh, so, also bought this on eBay for a couple of quid, and it's one of my favourite pieces of alternative training equipment. Dangle it over your uh, pull-up bar, and you can use it for reverse pull-ups, uh, reverse push-ups, which are basically a type of pull-up, targeting your lats more and allowing you to do more repetitions. But there's loads of stuff, check out the video, which I believe is still available on this channel. But if you combine it with your skateboard, then you can do all sorts of cool movements, um, because you can move your legs freely around on the ground. So hold on like this, and then slide your legs out each time you pull yourself up. And this way, again you're training your abs, you're also doing a very unique type of pull-up where, where the angle of the weight is changing all the time. Again, you're training yourself in some unique ways. There you go, those are just a few ideas, some things that I do with the uh, old skateboard. I don't use all of them because, like I say, I live on a second floor in my block of flats and the floor's wooden, so I don't want to uh, risk scratching it. However, I do use the press-ups at the moment occasionally and the, uh, the other ones. And I, I find it's a really good way of getting something a bit different and interesting when you're lacking inspiration, when you have to work out from home to have access to the gym and your usual heavy weight. So uh, give it a go, but really the, the main thing is just to experiment and try different things. So if you uh, can come up with any skateboard exercises, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the uh, comments, or if you have any other interesting items that you like to use for working out. I actually use a beanbag a lot. It's like a bench. I my my uh, forward collapsing bench is pretty useless. But you can use it great for uh, you know, all kinds of presses and peck flies, things like that. But yeah, so if you've got any interesting items around the house that you like to use, please share, I'd be interested to hear from you. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more of the same as well as more discussion on uh, brain training, uh, self-improvement and productivity. I'm going to be posting regularly and uh, hopefully there'll be a good variety of things here to help you to expand your body and mind through training and technology, as my tagline goes. So thanks for watching, stick around if you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.